everyone. I'm Renee, the Appalachian Stitcher, and I'm back for episode number 13. 13. Baker's Dozen. Whoop. Already. And thank you guys so much for coming and visiting with me. Thank you for the likes, the comments, and subscribing. If you haven't done that, if you want to go do that, do that. Um, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Comments are always so fun, and I feel like I get to know you. Anywho, so today I'm going to jump right in because I'm afraid this is going to be a little bit longer. So I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to show you my whip that I worked on. I only worked on one whip this week. And that whip is a faithful friend. A faithful friend by Samplers and Stitches. And here is my progress. Hey, it's beginning to come along. I have a part of the Westie done. I have Janine done with her shoes and she is wearing some tinted chapstick, y'all. Look at those lips. And her hair all dolled up. And so now basically I just like the rest of the words and the um, heart and the little things over here and finish up the dog, the back side of the dog and that one will be done. Yay! So that's what I've been really focusing on. I haven't had a whole lot of stitchy time. So that's for another time. Now, haul. I did get some haul, and this might, I don't wanna spoil anything. So here's how I'm gonna do this. The first thing I got is a Mirabilia. And you're like, what? You got a Mirabilia? Yes, yes, I got a Mirabilia. When I, when I think of Mirabilia, I think of fairies and the these beautiful dresses and fancy ladies and Lady Liberty and all the fancy big beautiful things and while I love seeing those things they're really not my aesthetic as far as things I would want to hang on my wall but Mirabilia came out with one that caught my eye I, I do want to do the beading and do a Mirabilia but there was another no there wasn't one that called to me until now and this one y'all Oh, it might be glaring a little bit, sorry. T. This one's T by Nora Corbett, Mirabilia. T, ah, it was perfect. So when I got the beads and I got the pattern and I have ordered, there's one, it's one um, Karen Waller, Water Lilies that I've ordered and some fabric and I'm gonna see how that looks. I'm gonna just do it in DNC. So I'm excited about that. I'll be starting that sometime. That might be a birthday spark, I don't know, we'll see. But I do want to start that. And then the second thing, I don't want to spoil anything. So if you got the mystery box from um, Garen Totem Bags, Garen Stitchery, you might want to just skip ahead or save this for later after you open it. Because I'm going to flip through it real quick. But I'm also going to link hit um, Garen Stitchery's Floss Tube below. And also uh, Gary who is part of the Gear On, Gary and Ronnie. Um, get well, Ronnie, by the way. Hope you're doing well. Um, they make bags, they make crime guards, and now they have a, store, a shop, and they put together a mystery box, and it's Christmas in July, I think. It was Christmas. And I've never done a mystery box. I've done mystery boxes, but not stitching related. I'm usually a little nervous, but this one was awesome, y'all. Oh, it was so good. So if you don't want to see it, bye, see ya, watch me next week or whenever you open yours. If not, let's just look. It's all open because I'm not one that can be like, oh, I can't open, I have to jump off. No, I tore in, I waited a whole three minutes and then I tore into it like a mad woman and it was not even July, it was the end of June. But first, the way that it was packaged, it came in a green box. Green is their signature color and I've already recycled the box so I don't have it, but they had this, they had, it was all beautifully packaged, first of all, but it's all been unwrapped. So don't judge, this is not how it comes, this is just how it looks after you've opened it, after three minutes. But look at this bag, y'all. Oh! Christmas cookies and Santa. Here's the card. Gear on two bags. They have a floss, uh, floss tube. They do have a floss tube now. Um, 
Sunshine Stitchers is very supportive of with Shelia and EJ. You can go watch in there. But here's the inside. So that's lovely, good size bag. And then it has the little accessories bag with the same cute little fabric. Isn't that so cute? I love that. I love it. That's my first air on bag. Love it. I'm, not, I'm sure it's not gonna be my last, so. But that is so cute to put all my Christmas stuff in. So it came all with this beautiful ribbon all prettied up. Then we got the flosses. So here are the flosses because there's gonna be a pattern that was made just for them. It also came with this. Let's see if I can put it on here. By my big toe, I believe. Did that. Cute. It matches the bag. It's the same scene on the bag. It's so cute. This, I love this idea. How smart is this? It's a little Christmas tin, like you would have mints or something. In. I mean, it's small. And it had a, a needle in there. Put your needles in, a magnet, with a little blingy on your link needle. So that was cute. And I put in my needle minder, and look, Santa's holding their logo, which I think is cute. It's like really cute. I put it in here so I wouldn't lose it so I can get my project started. Got a sticker of Gary. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's cute. And then we got some fabric, a long piece of fabric, which we're like, hmm, what's this for? Well, in a minute you're gonna find out. Got some stitchy fabric. Hmm. We got some chenille and some velveteen. chart and it is a rosewood rosewood manor oh santa designed by karen Kluba. look at that and these are what i love these draw my attention because i like the smalls for christmas but look at this how cute with the bird in the tree i think you could take any of these little elements this moment i mean you could take any of these little elements that makes it but this one's gonna be the what i'm gonna use this one for with the Hello, and then the ho, ho, ho. How cute is that? So I probably will not do the big Quaker style, even though it's so cute. I just don't do big for Christmas, but I do like these small. So those are going to be on my list. And it has all the stuff to finish it. And now that I'm such a professional finisher, I'm sure I'll be able to just whip that right out. But this goes on the back of the pillow. That's what that was for, the right side. So, and the fabric. And this is that fun. It was really fun. Good quality stuff. Yeah, I was really, really happy with that. So kudos to Garon Stitchery. They also sent a letter and it gives you all the list of the goodies. The Lady Dots creates velveteen, chenille, finishing fabric, uh, the mini pins from just another bit. All the, all the details are right in there. So if you want to know all that stuff, go watch. I'll link it. I'm going to try to link it. I'll put it in the description to where you can go find it. Um, the floss tube for his the stitchery, um, his stitching company, and he does a video that goes through everything that's related to that. So, yay! That was all my haul. That was enough, wasn't it? I know. I'm crazy. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do is we're going to have a parade, y'all. I'm burning up. I am burning up. It is hot outside. I mean, the AC's working, but it's having a hard time keeping up. I'm roasting. But, Christmas in July, right? Well, I can't do all my Christmas in July, or we'd be here till November going through stuff. But, I thought I'd have a sled parade. A sled parade, I say. Yes, I say. And, I'm going to show you some ones that I've done already. And then I'm going to show you patterns that I've gotten for ones that I want to do in the future. I love doing sleds. And you're saying, what are you talking about sleds? Well, let me just show you. 
The first ones I'm going to show you are Lizzie Kate. Um, I could not find the patterns. I had the patterns stuck somewhere safe, really safe. You ever do that? Put them in a really safe place that you can't find? They're so safe. Yeah, that's where these are. And I'm just going to show you. Like, these are fully finished objects. This one is the Nutcracker Sleds. There's three patterns on a thing, so we've got that one. Holly, Nutcracker, Gingerbread. I love gingerbread. I like to do that uh, whole tree devoted to gingerbread and candies, peppermints. So those I have. Sled Dudes. Is This is Sled Dudes by Lizzie Kate. So we have, a lot of these are just wintry too that you could use if you're not a Christmas, if you don't celebrate Christmas. The polar bear, that's wintry. Snowman Cardinal, he can stay up in winter. And we have old Santa, or just a happy grandpa. He doesn't have to be Santa. If you don't want him to be. And snowy sleds. I love these. Because I like the bright colors. There's a little house with little buttons. These are all done on perforated paper. Perforated paper. That's a hard word for me to say. I don't know why. Um, it's like the tan color and the cawthorn threads and they came with the little buttons. Look at the penguin. Y'all know about the penguin. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it, for us? And a little sand, a little snowman. Very wintry. Those are sled dudes. I have more. This one is Not Before Christmas, Lizzie Kate. The three of those are this little Santa. We have a mouse and we have a chimney. Yeah, cozy. That was the night that was not before Christmas, not sled dudes. Not before Christmas. Snowy sleds. Um, let's see, peppermint sleds. These ones are cute too. These are wintry. A little cup of Tea or hot chocolate with a little cookie. Peanut. Cardinal. These sleds I, I bought at, um, I bought them in bulk, I feel like. They're a little expensive, I would say, but I think for finishing, like, I could do it because you just put sticky tape on the back and cut out around your pattern and stick it on there. So, like, I could do it. And I have little miniature trees that I light up and I put these little sleds. They're like my sled trees. That was a side note. Okay. And then stocking sleds are the last ones that I've completed fully. Little stockings. I love the colors. They're not your traditional the pinks and green, like lime greens and what else. So those are all of my sleds that I've completed. A lot, don't I? Yay me. Now, there are patterns that I purchased. I was going to do this for you. I'll throw it on. So, this was what I was going to do for you. But, I'm so hot. I can't, I can't handle it, y'all. Too hot. So, just envision that I'm all with my little cap on. Getting in the spirit of sled parade. Alright, now let's look at some patterns. This is a Lizzie Kate. I have two Lizzie Cates that I have not stitched yet. This is one, Santa's Workshop Sleds. Oh, those are cute. And then I have another one that I do not, I have, I have misplaced, and I don't know what the name of it is. But anyway, it was the ones that came out last year or the year before. Okay, Foxwood Crossings. These are all gonna be Foxwood Crossings. And by the way, these are the little sleds. You can buy the larger ones. These are the smaller ones. I like the small ones. So all these that I bought are um, small. We got Santa Folk, Foxwood Crossings. And the cute little Santas. Birds, you know I love birds. These ones are Snowy Visitors. Aren't those cute? These ones are Sledding Friends. Again with a penguin. Isn't that cute? More birds. Finch. Finch visit. Here's 
more birds, backyard visitors. You would think I like birds or something. That's cute. And then this one is letter slits. And I thought these, I think, the, well, like here's a large one, but these I thought would be cute to put all of our family initials on. And have them just a pot. These are by Foxwood. And then I have a few by Sue Hillis Designs. I don't have all of hers, but I do have, I did start giving them a few. Um, this one's Christmas in Red. And I love that kind of Scandinavian looking red and white, like sweaters. I like that one a lot. And then this one is sweets. Again, I love the peppermint and gingerbread stuff to put on a tree near my kitchen. That one's cute. And then, um, this one was, you know, my club that I did the stockings, the 12 day stockings from, um, Annie, Crazy Annie's, Crazy Stitchers. Well, last year, was it last year? 2021, yeah. They had a sled club. I didn't know about it then, but I love sleds, right? That's why I'm having a sled parade. Who has a sled parade? I do, because I love the sleds. I love them. And so they had a whole like monthly thing where you got a pattern each time. And so she had extras that she put on her website. And I saw them and I said, oh, I must get those because Quite frankly, it's hard to find pet. I'm sure you could make stuff. I'm not a designer, y'all. I, I just need somebody to say, here, this is what you need to do, and I will make X's and make that. So, Annie B's Folk Art did it again. And these are not in order. They came in like one, two, three, but I'm just gonna show you. Look at these, how cute. And I was thinking, even like after Christmas, I like to take all the stuff that has um, Christmas on it or ho 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 or anything like I like to take all that stuff down right after Christmas like I'm over I put it up really early and then like right after Christmas I'm like Psh, done with Christmas right but I love the lights I love lights on trees and so I want the lights on my trees still so what I do is I take all the Christmas stuff out but I have some things that are just like wintry that I'll leave out so a lot of these have wintry stuff on them. Like this one has a snowman, like snowman and stuff like that. You can keep those out through January if you wanted to get lazy. But anyway, look at these. And I should have taken them out of the package. I'm so sorry. You think I'd learn. This is number 13. Did I learn? I learned. I'll probably never learn, y'all. Let's go sledding was the name of the club. I don't know if she still has any of these, but if you're interested in any of them, I would reach out to her. Let's see if this one will do. This one's, sorry about the glare, but I'll be here all year if I, it's another one. These ones are done on, um, have a lot of black background. Of course, you could change that up if you wanted it to be blue or green or to blend in with the others. This one has stone in, which is so cute with the blue. Come in. Have Santa, a tree, and some candy canes. Those are cute. I love this, this one up here. The bird. A deer and a house. Again, stocking and Santa and peppermint. I love the peppermint. And here's some birds. I could do a whole bird tree. Whew. I'm going to have to have more trees, y'all. And I gotta have more arms and more money and more time and more. <laughs> Don't ask for much, do I? I just need all the all the more stuff. The birds, I love the birds. That's cute. Let's go sledding club. They're all like number one, number two. And they're sweet. And these are 
those cute? I should have jolly July and probably got these. Cause they, the great thing about these, if you like stitching ornaments, if you are an ornament stitcher for like Christmas or for just like to give to someone or whatever, these are great. They're easy. You can see because the holes are large, you know, it's larger holes and you can see it. Did I mention you can see it? Did I mention you can see it? You can see it and you don't have to have that great a lot. And they stitch up fast. I mean, we're talking, you could, I mean, if you were hard up for something, like last minute, you, you could whip one out. If you started midday, you'd have it done. If you had all the stuff. So isn't that fun? That was my sleigh parade, y'all. Wow. I thought that would cool me off, but I'm still kind of hot. That's it, y'all. That's it. I hope everyone has a good rest of the week and floss tube out y'all. Bye.